Today I'm going to try and fill an entire sketchbook in just one afternoon. Welcome back to my art studio. I am Natja, I'm an artist and an illustrator from the Netherlands. I'm going to be filling this entire book, which isn't so big, but looks can deceive. The Hanemühle zigzag book. You may have seen it in my last video in which I was shopping for art supplies. It still has 10 pages to fill and it can be a little bit tricky to work on such a tiny format. I already sketched out some ideas for this little book in my regular sized sketchbook. So let's move over to the painting table. In the last video I made this little critter drinking a nice cup of tea and for this little sketchbook I want the same theme. So this was the first rough sketch, a really tiny sketch for a really tiny sketchbook. I want to add animals to both sides of the book and in between there will be a collection of coffee mugs and tea mugs and I want to play around with several backgrounds. Some will have a white background, others will have a colored background. I want it to look very playful. It will be a little cozy cafe zigzag book. I also made a larger sketch of the zigzag book just to see the format and I wanted to pay a little bit of extra attention to the animals and how I want them to look. Here you see the little bunny that I plan on painting and this will be filled with the coffee mugs and here is the little mouse. Also already played around with some coffee and tea mug designs which was very fun so I look forward to picking some of them and maybe add some new ones to the sketchbook and each little page will have its own mug.
I hope you enjoyed watching the painting process for this tiny sketchbook. I wanted to take a moment and look at the book with you and discuss the end results and some of the choices I made along the way. Here you can see the little bunny. I'm really glad with the color scheme. I hadn't really given it a lot of thought. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut feeling, which I did. I chose a lot of the colors that I picked out while shopping for art supplies, which you may have seen in my last video. It just so happens that they work really well together. I had a lot of fun adding some texture with pencil and some snow snowflakes. I had a little bit of a hard time to make the eye visible. In the end I added a little bit of a lighter color around the eyes so we can see it well and see a little bit of the expression. I was a little bit worried beforehand that the format would be a little bit too tiny to make uh, the character really stand out but I think that it worked fine. Now that I created two characters on this format I do think that I would love to make a tiny sketchbook with only characters so maybe that will be a uh, something for another video. If you would like to see this, do let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to devote a video to it. While I was painting, this idea just popped into my mind. I love adding pieces of paper and collage type illustrations. I really love the look and feel of the paper in the sketchbook. Sometimes you have to just follow your feelings and just make some leaps while working and experiment. And it was kind of a big leap because I was filming and usually when I film um, I always stay inside of my comfort zone. I still haven't gotten used to filming and painting at the same time. Here I had masking tape in the beginning, that way I could create a fun background, try to keep it very rough and loose and I love the end result of that. I think it works really well with the black coffee and uh, just a little bit more of a rougher page. And as a contrast we see a little cozy tea mug here. I decided beforehand that I wanted to mix and match white backgrounds with colored backgrounds so this one is on a white background and I also uh, varied the sizes of the backgrounds a little bit by ad adding masking tape here which worked really well. It was a bit of a task to cut all of the masking tape into these tiny proportions but I think it paid off in the end. Here is a yummy latte. I added a little bit of extra water so it has uh, some nice textures. I must say the techniques that I used within the sketchbook overall feel like a little bit of an experiment to me. I really got to play around with my style. Some of these things I will even include in uh, in other work uh, that I will make. I couldn't have made it as detailed as my usual work as that would have taken hours and hours I think. I finished this sketchbook within two and a half hours uh, in total. And after that the lighting just got worse and worse so I'm glad I finished it within that time. This is the most simple mug of the mug collection I think. It's just uh, some lines and I try to be really uh, free with it. I like that some of the designs are a little bit more detailed and to break it up there are some simple shapes as well. I think this is also relatively simple. I added some texture to the mug with pencil as you saw. For this page I used the negative space to, to portray the mug, so the complete opposite of that other page. And I added some wonky lines to have a little bit of a pop of color within the page. Then we are off to our last mug. Initially I wanted to add a little bit of brown to the bottom of the mug, but I like that I kept it simple and I added a little bit of color here. And we have the second character to close the book. And I think this is my favorite one for the entire book. If you follow my work you know that I just love to paint little critters and rodents and mice and rats especially. I really like the color scheme for this one. I like his little expression and his clothing. I played around with colored lines for the characters. I think I found some new color schemes that I really like. Overall I think there are some things that I will take along within my work. As I mentioned I really look forward to making a second one for these sketchbooks. I hope you liked seeing the process of the creation of this tiny sketchbook. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I would love to hear if you also plan to fill a tiny sketchbook of your own and uh, I already look forward to see you in the next video. Bye bye!